Savage Finance. Because it's a jungle out there that wants your money. Here I will teach you how to manage the jungle and make it out. Hey, this is another edition of Savage Finance and I want to talk to you about something that is very, very troubling. There are many Americans who don't have a real checking account. They're trying to get by using Venmo, Cash App, PayPal, and they don't have a real checking account. And that's a problem when it comes to you getting paid. And that was a problem with many people waiting on their stimulus money because they filed with H&R Block, TurboTax, and these other places. And instead of having their money go to a real checking account, it went to a temporary account with the tax filing service and their stimulus money is in limbo. They're getting reports that their stimulus money has been deposited to their checking account and the checking account doesn't exist. We're going to talk about why this is such a problem and what you can do about it. If this is your first time here, this is Glendon Cameron, your hustling godfather, serial entrepreneur. What I want you to do is to go to the front of the channel, hit that video toggle, and then go to the oldest videos and start watching those oldest videos up to the video of the day, because each video is going to give you financial education and practicality and economic benefit. There are many people who are handling their money wrong, and this will help you begin to handle your money correctly. There are many, many people who don't have a real checking account because they're dodging child support or they have liens or they have garnishments. And this is a really negative, messy financial stuff that you need to clean up. I've been there. I understand what it's like to have some derogatory stuff following you around or you've had a real checking account and you did not pay the fees and they closed your checking account and you've been reported to CheckSex or something like that. What I want to urge you to do is to clean up your record. Uh, I know that the child support thing can be crushing for many people. And you know, I, 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 I talk about this on my other channel. If you're on child support, you should start a side hustle that's going to make three times what your child support is. So you'll be making three times what you need over here, as well as your job income. The child support thing is really, really hard. And I have a course at Hustlers Kung Fu Life Skills on how to navigate child support. Because I had a situation where a woman I was dating, she got pregnant without my permission. Then she took the child without my permission to another state. And once she got in that state, she instantly filed for child support because we had an agreement that I was able to prove to the courts that we were going to raise our daughter together, that I got her child support case dismissed. So there are ways to fight this. And one of the things is, guys, I know this is hard and I know that no one has ever talked to you. I know no one ever, but there, you can fight this. You can fight this. But also on the flip side, if you're already in the child support system and they had a hearing and you didn't show up, you're pretty much screwed because you will literally have to go back and start the whole process over again, get everybody in there and you're already in the rears. And the rears is nasty. So if you are ever in the situation where you're dealing with child support, make sure that your payments are on time and that, you know, cause your best time to fight this is in the beginning. If you've been in the system for two, three, four, five years, um, it is what it is. You're stuck and it's not going to ever go away. It's going to literally follow you around for life. They're going to take your tax returns. I hear that they're taking the stimulus money. They're going to take your unemployment money. You have no choice but to deal with this stuff up in a front, front and forward manner. Running from it, ducking it, not dealing with it, it's not going away. That's my spill on that. And if you have any messy situations, I'm going to tell you something. Uh, when I got divorced, I, my ex-wife had some debt that we were both part of, but she was supposed to be responsible. She did not pay that debt. The company sued me. They came after me 
And I was scared when the sheriff was knocking on my door because I had never been to court before. I didn't know what it was. So I took the service and I went to my friendly Internet. And the thing was show up in court. So I showed up in court. And when they called us up, I was like, I've been doing some research, Your Honor, and they're not able to collect in this state because they don't have a license. And the judge was like, you don't have a license? And the guy was like, fricker, fricker, rrr, 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 and dismissed. Show up and fight your situations. You know, if you just don't put your head in the sand and ignore your situation, it's just going to get worse. You're going to get a default judgment and they're going to come after you. And they, when they get a default judgment, they can go to your bank and get your money. What I want you guys to do is start cleaning up your bad financial habits and bad financial outcomes. You can fix your credit. You can handle this stuff. You can work out a payment plan with the Internal Revenue Service. There are many things you can do, but I urge you to go out and get a real checking account because uh, I did a live stream on my other channel and people were just talking about they had employees who did not have checking accounts and these people wanted to be paid in cash. They wanted to be paid in PayPal because they did not have a checking account. And if you work for me, you're going to have to have a check account. I'm not going to be up going to PayPal. I'm not going to be going to Western Union sending you money. That ain't going to happen. You just ain't going to be able to work for me if you do not have a checking account because I will cut you a check because this, you know, because I would run your stuff through ADP so you can have your appropriate taxes taken out and you get your W-2 at the end of the year. I, I'm not that kind of business owner that's going to be at the Western Union sending you money like a child. There are many people who are unbanked and underbanked because they don't know that there are many banks. You can do an online bank. There's Simple. There's Chime. And for those of you who are veterans who are worried about setting up a checking account with fees, if you are a veteran, you take your DD-214 to Chase Bank, open up your checking account, and your checking is free. I have my business accounts and a personal account with Chase, and it's all 100% free. I never pay the penny. You have to do this because you have to, you know, when you open up your checking account, you have to provide your DD-214 and let them know that you were a veteran and you get free checking. So there ain't no excuse. You can get free checking. There's Navy Federal. There's Delta Credit Union. There's many. Get yourself a real checking account and stop ducking, dodging and hiding. Because I know that many of you are under immense economic pressure, especially you dudes with, who are behind on child support. Um, my heart goes out to you. I know that that is rough. I know that that is a critical standpoint. And this is one of the reasons I developed a child support course. And with that, as I said earlier, you're going to have to address that in the beginning. Because if you've been in the system two, three, four years, it's going to be almost virtually impossible to get out of it because you're going to have to hire an attorney and then you're going to have to go to court and you're going to have to petition the mother and there's all this and here's something else too the mother has the capacity to forgive your child support you don't have to be living under a rock if you're dealing with a reasonable woman but you know once again that's a whole nother video get yourself a real valid checking account start getting your finances in order especially you folks who are filing at TurboTax, Jackson Hewitt, and you're letting them put your refund on a debit card? Check out my video. Stop using that debit card. You shouldn't even have a debit card. You, you've got to sit down and start handling your personal affairs like an adult. This whole debit card, like there's Netflix, there, there's, uh, there's uh, Cash App was sending notifications that you know we could take your money. Get yourself a real valid checking account and handle it because in my course, the money management course, I actually talk about having multiple checking accounts. So get yourself a real checking account, get yourself a real savings account and stop using these uh, subprime checking alternatives because you know, you want to have yourself situated where you can exist in the financial system that we have. And many people, due to bad decisions and other things, they're not in the financial system. They're as far away from the financial system as they can get. To be an adult, to be 30-something, 40-something, and be in a situation where you cannot 
open up a checking account because of things you did in the past, you need to start addressing those things because just as this, you know, there, there's a like millions of people who are not getting their stimulus money because they didn't have a real checking account, millions of people. And, you know, hopefully they'll get it worked out because the government has already registered that we sent you the money and the tax collection agencies like we didn't get no money and we can't give you no check. It's a mess. It's a hot, hot mess. I mean, uh, uh, there was a tax place in Florida where they were lined up and they were angry. I never seen so many bonnets in pajama pants and stuff. They were out there like, Hey, you know, where's our money? Where's our money? We need to go to Walmart and buy a TV. And here, here's the thing. And th this is one of the core principles of this channel. Manage your money or your money's going to manage you. That's it. There's no middle ground with that. And this is one of the things that I want to give you guys the knowledge and the information to have better financial lives. Because this whole notion of not having a checking account, it's just crazy to me. It, 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 it is, you know, I've never, cause you know, when I've hired people, I've never run into that. Everyone was able to get a check or to get direct deposit. I've never run into that. And the thing is I was listening to some other business owners. It is a big, big problem that people don't have checking accounts, that people want to be paid in alternative and esoteric ways. And it, it, it's, it, it's, it's crazy. So go ahead, do what you need to do. Straighten out your financial past. There's alternatives and there are banks that will open up a checking account for you. Even if you have derogatory information with another bank, uh, I think these internet banks will open up checking accounts for you. I, I'm not sure. Cause uh, I signed up for simple, I have a simple account, but I really don't use it. I pretty much have all my stuff with commercial banks, you know, Wells Fargo, Chase, PNC. And essentially, I don't even think, because back in the day, you used to have to have good credit to open up a checking account at Wachovia, which is now Wells Fargo, I believe. And I think all of that went away. Uh, I know someone who used to work for me that we had this conversation and um, cause he, he went to Wells Fargo and they, Wachovia at the time, and they opened up an account for him. Get yourself a real checking account. And also here's something else too, with these internet banks. If you get a check above a certain amount, you cannot deposit that on your phone. Like with uh, Chase, PNC, Wells Fargo, the biggest check I can deposit is 2,500 bucks, I believe on the app. When I was getting these checks of $50,000 per month, I had to actually go into the branch and deposit them. And if I had an internet bank, I would have had to mail those in and wait 10 days between, you know, mailing it, they're getting it, they're holding the money for, I got my money. Get yourself a bank account. You know, if you don't like the big banks, try small bank or community bank. They're, 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 put, they're there to help you out. They're going to open up an account for you and do some research because this whole notion of being underbanked and not having a checking account is crazy. It's insane. And I know many people are there. So what I want you to do, and this is, you know, if you're a person and you know what your situation is, you know, the reason why, if you got people coming after you, or you're afraid to have a checking account because they're going to take your money, you need to start addressing these situations because Living under a rock, and this is one of the reasons that I fought my case like a demon. When I was going through that child support stuff, I would not turn in a lick of paper because I was like, y'all have no jurisdiction over me. I'm not doing that. She moved. She shouldn't even be eligible to file for child support in the state of New York. And I was giving them hell. And I stood my ground. And then this one magistrate, because if you're in New York, they're magistrates, they're not judges, and they're hired attorneys to be judges she made some mistakes and she overstepped her bounds and I filed a complaint and we got shifted to another magistrate and I stated my case dismissed. So I fought because I know how hard this is. You know, they can take your license, they can reject your passport. It's, it's just a nasty thing. And I understand that many folks who are in these situations with child support, you're not getting any stimulus money. They don't really care about you, bro. You're going to have to man up and handle your business and address this because if you don't, it's going to hunt you 
forever. I know of a dude, his children are grown and they're still coming after him for arrears. His kids are like 22, 23, 24, 25. And because I think he was $80,000 behind in child support, they're still coming after him. So even when the kids are adults, it doesn't stop. So you want to handle that situation. And go ahead and get yourself a real checking account, because if you want to start hustling and making money, this is going to be a critical and very important part to you building out and making money. Because if you do not don't, if you don't do this, I'm serious. So get yourself a real checking account. And what I'm going to do is put a link to the money management course below and I'm going to put a link to the child support case below and I'm going to give you guys a 50% off discount so you can start working on this stuff because the money management course is the truth. I've had a lot of positive reviews and it's going to help you straighten out your money and part of the money management course is having checking accounts. You can try Navy Federal if you're eligible. You can do your credit union if you're eligible. You want to get a real checking account and get away from this alternative financing stuff and throw that piece of trash debit card away. So with that, I will talk to you guys in the next one. There should be another video around here. It should be right here. Check it out.